Hey guys, it's I Drop Shot JFK here, and on um, I'm bringing you another video. I haven't made a video in that long, and uh, so yeah, in the uh, period of time, I have started a new world, and I just wanted to show you um, my quick tip for finding diamonds. Um, I I'm basically just uh, dumbing down the idea of uh, cure shards, so go check out his video. Probably have a link in the description, so go check that out. That's a longer, more long-winded version, I guess you could say, even though it doesn't talk. So, uh, yeah, basically, what I do is I take a uh, stairway down to the bedrock, and then fortunately I came, so there's no bedrock actually around me. There's just bedrock down here. So, technically, this is layer 4. The layer above the bedrock is layer 5, and then you just have to go 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Now, this is layer 16, and this is where most of the, um, or no, my bad. This is where layer 16 is, and this is going to be most, where most of the, um, <laughs> okay. This is layer 16, and in between layer 16 and layer 10, there are, that, that's where the diamonds are in any of the game. So basically what you do is you build a uh, shaft on when you go down to layer 15. So layer 16 is going to be above you and there. So you go down, you build a uh, shaft from layer 15 just as long as you want. And what I do is every two spaces I mark off an area where I'm going to make like a uh, 30 block long shaft. So it's like on each side. I don't make it like this, skip one. I instead of skipping one, I always skip two, because you learn you uh, what's it called? You uncover more, and you don't waste your uh, picks. Like for example, if I did this, and I did it every other one, I would this one would still be on the right for this, and on the left for this one. So what that means is that you can uncover more, and you don't have to waste your uh, picks. So once you do that, uh, just undo everything, anything you want, and keep going. Like for example, I haven't uh, actually done these yet; I've just marked them off. And then what I do is I uh, make off a small section. I build a uh, stairway down here. Then I build a uh, thing, a passage going down. So let's see. And I you have to build them directly underneath the ones that are on top. So if that one is right there, this one will be crap right here. So mark that off. Then skip one, two, go down. Skip one, two. And the easy way to check if you're still along the uh, path is if you do this, you'll be able to see up into there. So that's just one way. And then what else I do is I make a little area up here so I can um so any coal that I find and any uh anything that I want to smelt for example iron if I run out of picks I always have I'm always gonna have a uh, inventory box here or uh crap what's it called a uh oh god I feel so stupid I always have a, a chest here that's a chest so I can hold any coal that I find to make light or torches like, for example, I only have 25, but I got this enough coal, so I have to go up and get some more. And I also have a crafting table and a uh, furnace. Those are obvious reasons. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then what you do is once you actually finish uh, digging down here, what I do is you connect them all along the back, and then you can either make another shaft going down farther, because... Ever like all the diamonds are going to be in this section in the world. I mean, this world is it like this world is infinite, all right? You're gonna be able to find every single diamond that you're gonna find, you're gonna find in this section of the world and this section. So, I don't know, you don't have to, you're not always gonna find them, but chances are you will, and you just keep making more. And like, don't go any farther down than this. So, technically, 16, 15, 14, 13. 
12, 11, 10. Because anywhere below 10, that's where the lava is going to be. And then, if you uncover something, you might find uh, some diamond on the top or something around the side. But then you're going to have lava coming in, and then you're going to have to take care of that. So, if you do this, you don't risk your uh, life as much. And, uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll talk to you guys later. See ya. Bye.